I am Yu Gyeong Kim from Iba Mons University in Korea. Plural plague is the most common asbestos related pleural pulmonary lesions, so it is considered as a marker of asbestos exposure. In Korea, CT scan is used for asbestos damage relief, and plural, plural plaques confirmed by CT scan are considered evidence of asbestos exposure in individuals who have pulmonary fibrosis or lung cancer but no definite history of asbestos exposure. Experienced radiologists can diagnose plural plaques with high confidence in most cases, showing typical findings. But sometimes, in challenging cases, CT features are equivocal. The purpose of our study was to evaluate the CT characteristics of various polar plaques and to compare the CT features between occupational and environmental exposure groups. This study enrolled 279 subjects with asbestos exposure from asbestos mines. There were 98 with environmental exposure who were residents lived within 4 kilometers of asbestos mines and 181 with occupational asbestos exposure. Uh, these people were also residents, so they were also environmentally exposed. The mean duration of environmental exposure was around 50 years, and the occupational exposure duration ranges from 1 to 32 years, with a mean of 8.4 years. CT examination was performed with a protocol for the diagnosis of asbestos-related pleural pulmonary lesions, including supine and prone scene section scan at 1 cm intervals and supine continuous six section scans. CT images were analyzed by two radiologists who have five years of experience as CT readers for asbestos-related psoriasis disease. Numbers, classification, maximum widths and lengths, and location of a plural plague were recorded. And the extent of score, extent of score of a plural plague were measured according to the involvement of the circumference of the chest wall by combining the maximum length of a plural plaques on extra image at the mid-thrust level. Combined pulmonary fibrosis was also evaluated. The plural plaques were usually multiple or bilateral, but single in 2.2% and unilateral involvement in 3.6%. The chest wall was the most common side of plural plaques, and in ventral side of the chest wall, plural plaques were significantly more common in upper chest wall while in dozer side, they were more common in lower chest wall. The diaphragm was the second most common side. They were unilateral or bilateral, and the right diaphragm was more commonly involved than left. Mediastinal pleura was involved in 42%. They were unilateral or sometimes bilateral. In contrast to diaphragmatic, pla pla diaphragmatic plaques, uh, mediastinal pleura was more commonly involved in left side. Environmental and occupational exposure groups showed a significant difference only in maximum length of a plaque and extent score. They were significantly higher in occupational exposure group, but maximum width showed no significant difference between two groups. Asbestosis were more commonly combined in occupationally exposed people, and the extent and fibrosis degree of asbestosis were significantly higher in occupationally exposed people. The maximum length and extent of plural plaques 
were significantly higher in groups with asbestosis compared to the groups with the isolated pleural plaques. In conclusion, pleural plaques were variable in number and size and may present as a single lesion or unilateral involvement. They showed predominant distribution in upper ventral and lower dosal chest wall, right diaphragm, and left mediastinal pleura. Occupationally exposed mine workers had larger extents of pleural plaques and pulmonary fibrosis than environmentally exposed residents.